friends. Today I am going to show you guys how to create a Microsoft Teams group chat. So let's get into it. All right, so before I hop in and show you guys my screen inside of Microsoft Teams, I am first gonna tell you if you haven't already how to download Microsoft Teams itself. I have the link in the description below to the website where you can go ahead and download Microsoft Teams. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this page right here and you're going to click download Microsoft Teams for Windows. If you are a Mac user, I would recommend using the Microsoft Teams web browser version. Now, what that basically means is you just sign in to Microsoft using your web browser at the top right here, and you just go to the application through this browser rather than downloading the little icon onto your device itself. So once you have chose to download Microsoft Teams for Windows, it is going to pull up this little icon here to set it up. Um, you're gonna click on that icon and run through, um, just basically keep clicking next and okay until it is downloaded. Then what it's gonna have you do is log in to your Microsoft 365 account. If you have not created an account, you can create it right then and there and set up your own email and password. That Microsoft account is going to get you into all of your Microsoft applications. Um, as far as the uh, pricing goes, um, I'm going to pull it up here on the screen. Um, the Microsoft Teams Essentials is just $4 per user per month. Um, but if you already have um, the Microsoft 365 business basic license. You actually already have Microsoft Teams inside of um, that business email. Um, now, this might not apply to you if you were given uh, your email and password from your company that you work for. So it doesn't really matter in that case. But just for some of you guys who are just now starting and maybe want to use it for personal use, um, you actually can switch to a home plan and use it personally. Um, there is a free sign up um, that gives you just, you know, five gigabytes of cloud storage. You're still able to collaborate, like planning with tasks and polls and, and you can chat with friends and family. Um, so that's stuff that's pretty cool as well. It just doesn't give you um, as much of an opportunity for the other Microsoft products and whatnot. Um, if you went with the $6.99 a month uh, personal plan, that would probably be better if you're going to use the full Microsoft 365 apps, you know, suite. So I would recommend doing that if you're going to use all of those products. All right, now that we've talked about how to just get Microsoft Teams, let's actually get into Microsoft Teams itself. So I am right here, right now, inside of my Microsoft Teams account, and I'm under the Chats and Channels tab. Now you have the opportunity to have a separate <laughs> tab that says teams and a separate tab that says chat or you can put them together um, I actually have them together so you can see, see if I, I click here this is where my chats are and then if I click here these are where my teams and channels are so they're in the same um, section it's just totally up to whatever you'd prefer um, so but what I'm going to show you today is how to set up a group chat now what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this little box with a line going out of it um, and select new message. Um, when you do that, you can type and enter in whoever you'd like to add in this group chat. So I am going to add um, Jacob and I'm going to add Bobby into this group chat. And then if I wanted to, I could title the group name here. Um, I Let's say I'm going to say like test here and then under right here is where I would type the the message that I'm going to between the two of them all right so once I've created that message I'm going to click this send button right here and boom it just sent it to the two of them as a test 
Now, if I go to my chats, I can see the test um, group right here and I can go into it. I can look and choose to meet with them over a Teams meeting. I can add people and I can also leave it from right here, okay? You can also have the opportunity to um, see what has been shared in the group chat. This is the best thing they have ever added. Um, I literally love this so much. So if you have like a really big group chat with like your whole family or maybe your whole department or, oh, Bobby just said hi, or whatever you're doing with them, if you're trying to go back and see like pictures or files or documents um, in the group chat and you can't freaking find it anywhere. Something that is really nice is this shared tab here. You click on it and it shows you all the files, the links, the documents that you have shared inside of this um, group chat, like only this group chat. And it sorts them all here. So you can just filter by like a keyword or anything you want and it saves it all right here. This has been a game changer for me and I really recommend you guys checking out this feature. The last feature I wanted to show you guys for group chats is um, if you click on the three dots here at the top, you're able to schedule a meeting with this group of people here. So it automatically adds everybody who's in this group chat for that meeting. You can also um, find a word or something inside of this chat from here. You can share your screen with them. So let's say you're like in a physical meeting with them and you wanted to show them something on your computer. You could literally start a screen sharing session right here and right now. You can also move to favorites and you can add sections. So you can add like sections to your chat um, area where you can like, let's say like you had like family verse um, work, you know, sections and you sectioned off who was in whichever category. And then you can also put favorites at the top. Um, just like right here, you can see my favorites are right here so I can see very easily all that I want with a very click, qu quick click. <laughs> then the last thing I'm going to show you is if you want to mute or leave it. So let's say that you're using this group chat and you don't really need to look at it a lot and you're kind of annoyed by the notifications. You can easily mute it right here and, um, and then you can choose to click on the three dots and unmute it um, anytime you'd like. And then um, if you wanted to leave, you would just click the leave button right here and it will make you leave. So that is literally the quickest tutorial I could possibly give you for creating a group chat and also for uh, leaving it. Um, and I didn't really explain this though, but I, but I will say you can't necessarily, you can delete it off your device, but you can't choose to like permanently delete it off all the people like the other people's but you can leave it and delete the chat from from your um, chats window so if you clicked on the three chats here you could choose to leave it and it would remove it from your chats so um, just keep that in mind when creating these and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to create a Microsoft Teams uh, group chat I will be creating even more videos about Microsoft Teams so if you're not already subscribed to my channel I make videos about all different Microsoft products so make sure to uh, check me out and hit the notification bell to be notified anytime I upload new content. But thank you guys for listening and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.